So everybody should see that. So there's the ad for today's training. And what okay. we're going to do is we're going to go through the requirements for um, your certified user, just to make sure that you've got all the basics covered. This is so simple stuff, um, but what I notice is that a lot of people have not done just a few things and they could be uh, really starting to make a fair bit of difference in their online presence if they had attention to a few simple things. So I'm not gonna pick on anybody, but um, you'll know as we go through these things whether you've done them or not. So the first thing that you need to do is to see where the requirements are. And so we've gone to groups and in the drop down box, Pulpit Rock certification. And you'll see there the certification requirements. And then these are the three awards in the training. This is just basically so that you have a good profile and it's active. And then you take those principles and apply them across all forms of social media that you're using. Um, so we're talking about this first one, the certified user. And we're going to have a look at the certified user group. And you'll see the members, the members in this group have um, their pictures, they've got a badge on them. And then you have a list here of the requirements to become a certified user you need to be number one registered with pulpit rock training well you all are because you only got the invitation because you're you've done that one um, you need to be a member of the members only group now not everybody is in that group so i'm going to show you if you just click on that members only group it will show you Pulpit Rock Training Members Only Group. And so we've got 39 members that are in, in this group. And this is where we first send out the messages. And you see here where I say send a message to the group. That's uh, just above all the little pictures of the people. That's where you can send a message to the entire group in the right subject and a body of message and send it. <clears throat> so this group you have to join. Now I've already joined it so um, if you've got another device you can go to this the members uh, menu then the pulpit rock certification menu like we just did and then you click on the members only section and you should have at the top here if you're not a member, you should have a join now button and you just click that and you'll come in. If you haven't got the join now button, that is because I've not sent you an invite and I've either missed you accidentally or, um, or you've not, you're not friends with me, so I can't do that. So you need to be friends with me in order for me to be able to send you an invite to join the group. So if you've not made friends with me already, then make friends with me. I'll show you how to do that now. Let me go and find somebody that I can send a friend request to. So I'll go to members. And I'm going to look at all the members. So these are the, just the new members that have come in in the last few days. Let me go and find somebody that's a long way back. All right, I don't think I'll have a look at this person, see whether I'm friends with this person. All right, so this person here, Josephine Nadunji Wambua is a female in Nairobi, Kenya. There's a picture and we're not friends. Now, see, it says on my screen, add as friend. So you'll just go to anybody you want to be friends with, including me, and click the button, add as friend. And then you can add a personal message 
Hi. Let's be friends. Spell it right. Press the send button. Your friend request has been sent. And now it says on the screen, request sent. So you can send a friend request to anybody and that's done. So you can send me a friend request and I can send you an invite to join the group, the members only group. So <clears throat> I'm going to go to the next item, which is um, have a profile photo of your face. You'll see how some people um, You see how all the members of this and members only group, they've all got a face photo. We don't let you in unless you've got a face photo because we think it's important. Um, but if I go back to um, just a general members list, you'll see that some people just have, these are just new members have just joined. They have a, just a, a generic picture. And so we're waiting for them to put up their, their pictures. So I'm going to update my photo on here so you can see how to update your photo. So I'm going to my page and it's on there called my page and your page is called your page. Your page is called my page. Um, <clears throat> so this picture of Joy and I has been here for quite a long time. And so we're going to update it. So the way we do that is we go to settings. So on the right hand side, under your name, it says inbox alerts, friends and settings. I'll go to settings. And there is my settings for my profile. And there's my photo, which I want to change. So I'm going to click choose file. And I'm going to um, where did I put the picture? There. I'm going to choose that picture. And it's now uploading my new picture. Joy and I at our wedding anniversary luncheon just uh, about a month ago. I'm going to save that picture. And you'll see the little the little picture there has now changed. And if I want to change any of my information about who I am, what I do, it's good to have plenty of information in here in this question number two about what you do. There's mine. And put links to your ministry, etc. And then you come right down to the bottom and you press save. All right. Now I press that. You have successfully saved your changes. Go to my page. There you are. My new picture is in. Joy and I at our, that was our 39th wedding anniversary about a month ago. So if you look on the main page now, there I am in the top of those members. Jonathan Adams has liked my invitation only page. So you can see that I've updated. So, so your questions, um, we, in your profile, so if I'll go to my page 
um, your profile has a, a number of questions that you're asked when you first come in, but a lot of people just put very little information in at that point. And you can uh -huh. add content. So your profile information here says uh -huh. this is question two, where you need to put a good explanation about your ministry. And um, right. you'll see as a requirement of um, as a requirement of certified user, you've got to have at least five lines. Well, you can see I've I've got a lot more than that. Um, but I also have links to um, my Facebook. The, the beautiful feet Facebook, so the blog and the YouTube, the SoundCloud, etc. So you can put active links in there. They're all active. Um, and then what you do and then what countries you're available to go to and the link to your main website. I, I don't know how many people have done this, but it's a lot. A lot of members can't read question eight. I'll, I'll read it out to you. I can... And, then you can just have a look at your own and see whether you've done this mistake. It says my ministry or personal website or social media, that is Facebook, etc. A full URL link. Check afterwards that it works. Do not put, do not, do not, do not put your email address. There must be, there must be 500 people have put their email address in there. If you don't have a website, leave it blank. Don't write, I don't have a website. Just leave it blank. Oh. If you don't put anything in the answer to question eight, it won't show at all. That's better than putting, I don't have a website. Only into one website. Some people want to put two or three. They want to put their social media and they want to put a website and a blog site. So I've shown you where you can put all them up here in your, in your, in your discussion. Um, because if you only if you only put one website in here at number eight, it works. Yeah. You click it, and it goes there, and it's gone to the okay, beautiful so feet Facebook page. Okay, okay, so before you continue, load to load, there it is. Um, oh. But if you put two in, nothing works. If you put an email address in, nothing works. So you need to just follow the instructions um, and you shouldn't be putting your email address out in public. It's, it's very, um, very uh, bad for you because somebody might get hold of your email address and send you stuff you don't want. So make sure you're careful who you give your email address to. Right. Um, so that's uh, answering the questions. That's number four and five on your requirements for certified user. We'll go, um, or back there so the list of requirements I have a full description in number two uh question two at least five lines and number six be a member of your national group oh we've not done that one number four we've done completed every question so complete every question and have a full description in question two so, so the item number six is be a member of your national group so let's go to The main page, main, all right, so here's the main page, and <clears throat> as we scroll down, you'll see there's a few videos, they're the most recent videos that have been added, and there's a forums, we'll touch on that in a minute. And these, these are the groups, these are the national groups. So which is your country? Now, not every country in Africa has a national group, um, but if you want to join other ones, that's fine. But we've got the, all the more popular ones. So you can go, look, I want to join the Uganda group. And just click it, click on the, on the words or the badge, the, the flag. And I'm already a member of this group, but if you are not a member, there'll be a button up here, just says add or join, and you can just join that group, okay? So there's 142 members in the Uganda group. And there's a little bit of information there. 
about Uganda. I took that photograph there of Lake Victoria from Kampala, from the house I was staying at um, when I was in Kampala on my first African visit. Um, and that big hole in the ground there is where they built the big hotel where they had the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting uh, a year after I was there. So there's discussion forums regarding Uganda and comments there. Anybody can add comments into that group. So if you're not in a national group for your country, I suggest you join it and then you can add some comments there to that group. So that's a pretty simple one. Uh, join your national group and you can join others. So let's say you live in Kenya and you join the Kenya group, but you want to go to Uganda or Tanzania or Rwanda to do some ministry. You want to make some contacts. So join the national group for those countries where you're going and start talking to the ministers that are in those countries. All right. Um, Let's go back to the requirements. Join your national group. Have at least 20 network friends, including me. So it's important that you have friends and you'll see as you go along why that's important that you have friends. And 20 is probably not enough, but this is just the first level of training. So we just want you to know how to do that. And then you'll start building that up. So. I showed you how to make friends and I just made, I just sent someone a friend request. Bear in mind that not everybody responds. Not everybody wants to be a friend. Not everybody reads their email regularly. So, you know, you need to get quite a lot out in order to get friends. Your network is limited to a hundred pending. So once you've got a hundred that have been unanswered, then you'll have to uh, either wait for some people to accept them or to delete some of the older ones and try somebody else. So that's getting network friends and it's just fairly simple message. Write a little message in their personal box. It is very helpful so that people get some idea of why you want to connect. Now, number eight is have written at least one status update. What is a status update? If you're on Facebook, you will know what a status update is because that's what you write all the time. But a status update is here on the main page, latest activity, and it's this top box. It's always blank. The top box is always blank and you can write in we're having a great time right now on the corporate right, training with members from across. Now, oops, now I'm not a very good typer. See all the red lines? That means I've spelled it wrong. So even though English might not be your first language and you might not be very good at it, it's very easy to fix your spelling because it tells you what's right and what's wrong. Training with members from across Africa. Now I've got it right. And I've just hit share button and there you go. I've just posted a status update and they're just telling people what we're doing. And that's really easy. Just one of the things that you need to have done so that you know how to do it. That's the main reason. All right. Have written, the next one is have written at least one blog. Now this is something that you um, need to do because that's how you're going to start communicating and sharing some things in detail with people. That's going to help you quite a bit. So we want to write a blog now. How do we do that? So I'm going to go show you a couple of ways to do that. In the main menu under communicate, you'll see blogs. So we can go to it that way by clicking that. But we could also 
go down the right hand column and you'll see blog posts and these are the latest blog posts i want to do a blog for you which is our, our next item mm. and that's on there you can go to communicate and then the yeah. menu for blogs or you can go down this right hand side where you come to the blogs and at the bottom of the list they're the most recent ones it says add a blog so we're going to add a blog and we're going to give it a title. Um, and I've written the blog so that I don't have to write it while you're here. And then I'm going to hit copy and paste. And there you go. I've got a I've got a blog written, but don't want to just leave it like that you want to put a bit of spice in it so you can do bold you can do different font sizes and this is a continued from a blog that we had before um, you can do an underline Always use lots of spaces. Um, I see a lot of African people write a massive blog of it's just continuous text with no spaces, and it's really, really hard to read. So I'll put some spaces in. Uh, I'm putting credit. I didn't write this content. I'm putting credit for who did. Um, now I'm going to change that whole thing to. Bigger font, 12 point, makes it a bit easier to read. Now I want to put in a picture. What is meant by a new creation? So I put my cursor on there where I want the picture to start. I go choose image there. And then it's going to ask me to find the image that I want to use. You can choose from a URL and you can get a URL straight off a website of the actual picture. Or I'm going to load one from my computer, choose file, and I'm going to choose blog. <laughs> it's probably a little bit slow because my computer is using a lot of memory with all this video people on all right so that's that's in there i've got to decide how wide i want it i want it uh, 250 i want some padding around it I want it on the left. Press OK. Hey, my picture has come in. So there's my picture. What's a new creation? And I've finished my blog with a question because I want people to actually respond to it. So there's a question. What does this mean to you? Are you a new creation or do you still struggle with sin consciousness or are you righteousness conscious? How could you help someone in your congregation with this understanding? So based on the content above. I'm going to write some tags in here. Very important. You'll see why tags are important if you read in the about tags in the help, help page. Um, New creation, righteousness. You can put as many tags in as you like. Who can view this? Everyone. Who can comment? Everyone. Publish post. A 
And that's my finished post and it's now live. And if you've got another device, you can actually go and look at that right now. So I've sent that out. Uh, sorry, I've just posted it. Now I want to share it with people. So I'm going to say send to and then you, you'll choose who you want from your list of friends and then you'll click share this page. Now that's not going to go right man because I can't load up my friends list, it just keeps dropping out. So I'll send that out later. Um, I might put a few other bits in it. But there you go. So we've got some bolds, we've got some underlines, we've got some spaces, some capital letters, got lots of spacing, and we finished off with a question. And it's already loaded on the system. We'll go back to the main page. And there you'll see Howard Sands posted a blog, New Creation Realities. And Jonathan has just joined the Uganda group. Thank you, Jonathan, and added a little greeting in the group page. Well done. So that's great. Thank you. Vic Otieno, thank you for your comments there. So let's go back and see what else we've got to do because we're nearly out of time. Blog, have you contributed to one forum discussion? So blogs and forums or discussions are different and mainly the forums are for discussion, as in I want to ask a question and I need people to give answers, whereas a blog is more, more of a, um, I'm just sharing something that I want you to know about. So we'll find the we'll find the forums on the left hand side of the main page. So here we are back on the main page. We'll go down to here. You'll see forums, and these are the latest forums that have been put up on here. Here's one by Pastor Joseph A. Nikichabi, and he says, "Watch that tongue of yours." And I had a read of that earlier today, and I agree with him. So I'm going to write a comment. Well said, Joseph. I love this. All right, you can say a bit more if you want. You can have a discussion, you can have a disagreement, you can add extra content, whatever you like. But I'm just going to tell him I like it. Add the reply. There's the reply coming at the bottom. And if we go back to the main page, back on the main page, and it says Howard and Joy Sands replied to Pastor Joseph Bates' discussion. Watch that tongue of yours. So there I've I've got involved in somebody else's discussion and the last one is to upload a photo with a description right so we need to have some photos let me take you to my page so i'll go back to my page my comment there i just made a comment on Joseph Bates' blog, uh, his discussion. And down below there, you can, rearrange your, you can rearrange your page so that things are in different positions. Well, that's a little bit further on, a bit more advanced. But you can see these are my photos and they will change. Um, it just see that, that just changed on its own. It was on there for a few seconds and then the next one comes up. We want to add another photo to this list of photos. So I'm going to click add photos at the bottom. I'm going to choose a photo from my computer. 
and I want to choose uh, the artwork. Here we go. I'll put the 40th anniversary logo in. And that's selected that there. I'm going to add that photo. It says, please leave this window open while it's loading. Okay, so now there's the picture. Now I've got to write a description. Um, BFTF celebrated 40 years of ministry in February 2020. write a bit more I'm keeping this short uh, tags the tags are helpful for people finding things um, anniversary you have to spell it right otherwise people won't find it um, there we go now I'm going to choose I've select going to select an album so I've got several albums in here these are all names of albums my photos from different missions and there's one called BFTF 40th anniversary so I'm going to put it into that album and I'm going to press save and that is the album of the BFTF 40th anniversary here's some of the pictures and there's the one I just loaded and if you want to look at that picture individually, you just click it and there you go. And there's the description that I just wrote underneath it. So it's in the album and you'll see my photos or my albums. So I can look at my albums. What are the names of my albums? And these are all separate albums that I've got on the network for different events that we've done in Africa, mostly. Now, if I go back to the main page, you'll see Howard Sands shared a photo. Photo there. And that photo was just on the photos that come up on the main page. And I could share that photo with other people if I wanted to. So there we go. We've gone through all the items on our list. Uh, and there we go if you've done all of those items you've got at least one photo up you've contributed to somebody's discussion you've written a blog you've written a status update you've got at least 20 friends you're in your national group you've got a full description of question two in your profile and you've completed every question and you've got a photo of your face and you're in the members only group and obviously you're already registered with pulpit rock training then you're qualified for this award the certified user award and what's the benefit of that the main benefit is that one you're showing to the members on the network <coughs> that you've done the basics that you know what you're doing here are people you get an, a, a profile like this um, and you get a, a badge for your profile picture and you get a um, you get another uh, badge to put on your photos and you are well on the way to mastering the use of this network the principles behind all this apply right across your social media. You should have clear descriptions of yourself on your social media. And uh, what I find is I'm, I'm on Facebook every day looking at people who want to join things that I'm running. And I go to their profile and have to make a decision if they can come in. And if I don't know them, which is often the case, I've got to base my decision based on what they've got on their profile and and they don't have a they don't have a city or a country they don't have their profile open they don't say what they do for a living they don't say that they're in the ministry um, so they've got 
uh, a lot of things going against them for me to get involved with them. So make sure that your profile is clear, uh, you've got good photos, and that you're clear about who you are and what you do. And the only exception I would say to, to that is if you are living in or you travel often to a persecuted country, um, you may not want to have that because they may be looking for you. If you apply for a visa to go to Saudi Arabia or to go to China or something like that, um, North Korea, you may want to have a very low profile. If you're working in one of those countries where there's severe persecution, you may want to have a low profile. But if you're in a sub-Saharan uh, African country, I don't think you've got that problem. So uh, it's a great opportunity for you to just get your information out there. So now I'm going to um, stop sharing. Stop sharing. And we should be able to see each other's pictures. And thank you. Anybody got any questions, you can unmute yourself and ask, or you can write it in the, in the chat box. If there's anything else that you want us to cover before we sign off. We've gone just a few minutes over, and I don't want to keep you too long. I appreciate you being on here. Um, but if you've got any questions about any of the things that we've covered today, uh, now's the time to ask, and I'll go over it again with you. So unmute yourself and ask, or write it in the chat box. Yeah, I have one question. Yes, Sanders, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, my question, let me take you back to the website. Mm -hmm. So let's say if I don't have website, then should I just leave it blank? I didn't uh, get you. Are you referring to question eight on your, um, on your uh, profile settings? Yeah, yeah. Is that yes, what you're yes. Referring to? Sure. Yeah, just leave it blank. Yeah. So um, let me just move this. So if you've got a Facebook page, if, even, if uh -huh. it's, even if it's just a personal profile, um, if you have uh -huh. a ministry, church, or a, a, an evangelistic ministry, or, or an orphanage, or any other kind of activity, you really should have a Facebook business page. But, uh -huh. um, but if you've got a, um, if you haven't got one of those, just your personal page, personal profile, so this is mine here, question eight, right? And uh -huh. that takes me to my business page. Let me go there. All right. So here we've got the Beautiful Feet Task Force business page. And you're actually seeing what I see rather than what you would see because this is my um, my information about the page but let's say you don't have one of those you should have one but let's say you need to go and get um, your personal profile what do I want here? I'm going to go to Howard I'm going to show you how you get your personal profile so there's my personal page and Right at the top, can you see right in the, the web address bar there where I just highlighted that? Uh -huh. Okay. See how it says it starts with HTTPS? Yeah. Make sure you get that and everything that comes after it. Uh -huh. Control C on your keyboard will give you a copy. Uh -huh. Then you can go into your profile. On African Network, oh, wrong page. Back to 
page. I'm just going to show you how I change that. So I'm on my page. I'm going to go to settings. And here's the here's the questions. So I'm going to change that address to my personal one. Now you see how here it's got HTTP already outside the box. And then I have included uh -huh. it inside the box. Well, that won't work. So I need to take that out and then press save. Now that's been saved. Go to my page. Updated my profile nine seconds ago, and my profile now has Facebook Howard Sands 5. All right, if I click that, it's only got one lot of HTTP, it goes straight to my page. All right, does that help you? If you don't, yeah. Have if you don't have anything to put in there, leave it blank. But most people have got right. a Facebook or a, or a, 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 an Instagram or some other uh, online page that you can put in there. Mm -hmm. So leave it blank if you don't have one. And if you do put in your web, if your church has got a website, that's probably the best one. Uh, if your church doesn't have a website, but it's got a Facebook page, business page, then put that in, um, etc. It's all about connecting with people and people, people will choose um, to connect with you various different ways. So you've got to have something there. Um, so you'll see, uh, I've got an inbox, I've got one new message waiting for me, and I've got five friend requests waiting for me. So um, just, uh, if you've not used the, the private in email inbox before this is this is my inbox and i've got an in i've got an email in from not a real person so not, not a real person is actually another profile that we have on here for doing tests so that i sent myself a message from there earlier today just to show you that one has not been opened and these ones have all been opened and the, the little green arrow here at the side means it's been replied to. So you can just hit the, open the message, click on the headline, please send me an invite to Pulpit Rock Training Members. Over. And if you're not in that, that's what you need to do. Send me a message. Please send me an invite to the Pulpit Rock Training Members Only. So that you can get in there because that's where we give you the first information. Praise the Lord, people. Um, we've covered a fair bit. Thank you very much for your attention and your attendance. And I'm looking forward to seeing you online. Um, if you have any questions, anybody got anything else that they'd like to ask before we close off? <clears throat> Yeah, Oscar, I see your hand. Yes. Yes. All right. I want to say thank you very much for the teaching. Uh, I think uh, the best bet to learn this is that we need to practicalize what you have taught. The steps are noted down, and we have to go back to it one after the other. Yeah. And in case if there is any any complication, I hope we are free to get back to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Send right. a private message and uh, all right. we'll help you. Yeah. All right.